Greetings, devoted enthusiasts of the 49ers. Delight in the electrifying updates that have set the stage for collective enthusiasm. Some fans find it a bit challenging to grasp the unfolding narrative. Hit subscribe to express your support for the 49ers and join us in uncovering the intricate layers of this groundbreaking news. Brandon Ayuk stands as the latest foundational homegrown player for the 49ers, positioned for a second contract with the team, a topic that has been widely discussed. General Manager John Lynch has provided various responses on this matter before, but he conveyed a notably resolute stance at the Combine. Ayuk has showcased himself as one of the league's premier young receivers, particularly in the last two seasons. His standout performance in 2023 contributed significantly to San Francisco's passing attack, playing a pivotal role in the team's journey to the Super Bowl. The 25-year-old is set to earn $14, 1MM in 2024, courtesy of the 49ers exercising his fifth-year option, but securing a multi-year deal is a clear priority for the organization. Lynch, speaking at the Combine, emphasized Ayuk's valuable contribution to the franchise, stating, he served us very well as a franchise, and I think we've got a nice track record of extending the players that are important to us. Brandon is someone we want to keep around for a long time. This sentiment contrasts to some extent with Lynch's previous cautious approach. The executive acknowledged the need for fiscal responsibility due to cap constraints and the complications a new deal for Ayuk might bring. With key offensive players like Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, and Debo Samuel already under multi-year contracts, and Nick Bosa's significant extension impacting future cap hits, managing finances becomes crucial. The potential upcoming deal for quarterback Brock Purdy would also entail a substantial raise from his rookie contract. Approaching his age 26 season, Ayuk is in a position to negotiate a contract ranking high in the receiver market, potentially joining the list of 14 wideouts earning at least $1.20 mm per year. While retaining Ayuk is a costly endeavor, the 49ers also express interest in keeping receiver Jawan Jennings. Although a pending restricted free agent, Lynch expressed the intention to retain Jennings for at least the 2024 season. Jennings might receive the second round RFA tender, costing $4.89 million and yielding second round compensation if he were to leave via an offer sheet. Alternatively, the original round tender at $3.12 million could be applied, but this would result in only a seventh round pick as compensation for an unmatched offer sheet. Lynch hinted at the possibility of a multi-year deal, ensuring Jennings remains a valuable part of the offense for the years to come. In 2024, the 49ers, like other teams, benefit from increased flexibility due to the higher salary cap ceiling of $255.4 million, surpassing initial expectations. This might make new contracts for Ayuk and Jennings more manageable in the short term, even though Ayuk's extension remains a substantial financial commitment. The team's approach to extension negotiations in the coming months will be worth observing.